Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Doki Doki Literature Club. So, not much weird stuff has happened yet, uh, aside from what is clearly a preschool pink-haired magical girl being part of the club. She really doesn't fit in behavior or appearance, but she's there and uh, I'm expecting great magical things from her, I guess. Um, aside from that, Monica seems to have some kind of um, major malfunction. Uh, she said that we should uh, think about our decisions and save our game if we're a big one. Now, some people might interpret that as meaning that either she's self-aware, like those kind of games that the character realize they're in a game, or that uh, she's like there's a, a virus in the game that's forcing her to say things that she wouldn't or shouldn't say. I think those people are overlooking something like the most simple and likely reason would be that she's an old school adventure game gamer. Save early, save often. <laughs> she just said the motto. It's just, it's not super weird, right? Knowing that the reputation of this game, it's not going to be that. It's going to be super weird, whatever it is. So so far, my predictions seem to be that we have a magical girl, we have a child of abuse, we have our chosen friend to be wife character, and Monica is gonna either need rescuing or be the villain, I guess. Anyway, let's play! Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayori. Uh... Sorry, I was just pacing out. Oh, no wonder. Huh? I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to... I mean... Sayori fumbles with her words. So, let's just say that one day Yuri asked to walk home with you. Huh? Uh, what would you do? Uh, what kind of question is that? Does she live in the same spot as you guys? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> well, I would walk home with Yuri. I would still walk home with you. I would still walk home with you. Sure. Sayori. You really think I would ditch you for Yuri? Eh? But... She's so beautiful and smart. Jeez. So if, if Yuri broke her leg and asked someone to help her walk home, he wouldn't help her? <laughs> we have very limited choices here. It's always yes or no. It's never like, well, what's the situation exactly? You can't discuss things. I already see her in the club every day. Besides, you always seem to really like going home together. I wouldn't just ruin that for you. Aww. You're so silly, Cupcake. You think about me too much sometimes. Nah. Yuri would deserve it if she wanted it, so... Sayori, I've already made up my mind. Yeah, you don't get to tell people like, Oh, this person deserves this person. They are people. They get to make their own decisions. If he likes you, he likes you. If he likes her, he likes her. That's how it works. You don't get to dictate whether he goes out with you or with her. I've already made up my mind. I really can't figure you out sometimes. Sorry. Besides, what's the point in speculating something that's never going to happen? Um... The conversation trails off. I mean, she's just never gonna ask me out because she's just beautiful, it's smart, and I'm not. Sayori, I'm not. 
It's kind of weird. It's kind of a weird thing for Sayori to care so much about. Well, she likes you. But I want to respect her and keep her happy, too. Very good. Either... That's very good even if, like, whether you're a friend or lovers. Just respect people and try to keep them happy. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time. I'm guessing the festival is gonna be a gore fest or something. Something's gonna go wrong at the festival. Because that seems to be the big thing we're building up to. Oh, okay. Um, right. I almost forgot to have to write poems. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. Let's see. Something for Sayori. Cheer? Yeah. Friends. Uh, fireworks. Good, good. Depression? Nah. Uh, embrace. Let's see. Fluffy? Nah, no, not you! Can I go back? I want to... <laughs> I want to remove that word. <laughs> um... Poppy... Eternity. Uh, no, vacation. Yes, vacation. Um... Together? Yeah! Infinite journey... Childhood. Yeah! And uh, marriage, of course. Um, peaceful. Doki doki. Smile. Yeah. Um. Play. Of course. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> um. Let's see. Summer. No, not you. Ah. Uh, um. Family. Adventure. Um, hmm, joy, yes, kiss, ah, oh, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no one wants to kiss you. Um, I really don't know for this, romance, yes, okay. Um, chocolate, no, go away, Natsuki, no one wants you. Happiness! Yes! Okay. And, um... Oh, this one's hard. Uh, dream? Oh, well, it's better than Natsuki. Oh, man! I'm the last one here again! Don't worry, I just walk in too. <laughs> Don't worry, I just walk in too. Are you practicing piano again? Yeah! Uh-huh! You must have a lot of determination. Have you played Undertales? Starting this club and now picking up piano. Well, maybe not determination. But I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that all that you're all willing to help out for the festival, too. I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great! Eh? Uh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah, because I complain about everything. I'm not thinking... I'm not talking about our part of the festival. Our part's gonna suck! <laughs> but it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious foods. You sound... You sound a bit like Sayuri all of a sudden. Monica! Do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on! Are you saying you don't like squid? You, of all people? What What does that mean, you of all people? Eh? I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Yeah, like, why does she have to like squid? Because! It's 
straight in your name. What? Mom Ika. Eh? That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I think uh, Monica knows she's in a game. Uh, never mind. Let's just focus on our own events for right now, right? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. So you admit you're just being a bitch on purpose. Excuse me. Where is Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? Huh? You're spacing out again. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everybody else. Wh why? Are you sick? Uh. Is everything alright? Of course! Why wouldn't it be? Well, because you're... You're sitting by yourself, looking at nothing, and like, is that not normal? Are you okay? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sari shows a big smile. Not let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Uh, but you're part of everyone, and you're not having the fun right now, so... I think something's up. Well, alright. If you say so. Like, did something happen at home? You have to tell me these things! I'm like your best friend, right? <laughs> They've been friends since they were kids, so they should be able to talk about stuff. I worriedly glanced at Sayori before turning back towards everyone else. But the conversation has already dispersed, with everyone back at their usual activities. Hmm. Maybe I should ask Monica if she noticed anything about Sayori recently. Yeah, apparently she's not good enough friends with you to tell you if something's wrong? I, I, I don't know how that works. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they, they must be spending a lot of time together. That's true. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Cupcake, what's up? Hey, uh, this might sound a little strange, but uh, have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Well, sh she's the cheerful dumbass and she's sitting in the chair in the corner being quiet and staring at nothing. Have you not noticed? Or did you poison her? Is that what's... <laughs> Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Okay, you're, you're clearly... I think you're gonna be the villain, because... You two spend that much time together and you don't even realize that she's sitting by herself being quiet and staring at nothing like she's sick. Come on! Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is highly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there is something on her mind. Yeah. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Cupcake. You certainly know a lot of better than I do. Yeah. I I don't think so, because I don't know what's wrong with her. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talked to me about things that bother her. But this time, when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. 
I want to know if my poison is working. I mean, I'm also friends with her. So why don't you care that she's acting weird? And I also care about the well-being of the club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Hey, didn't Natsuki make her a weird cookie yesterday? Maybe Natsuki put something in the cookie because she had a different one. Which is weird because when you make cookies, you usually make one batch and make several cookies. But she made a big cookie about something and she made herself a different cookie? That is weird. Maybe Natsuki is trying to poison everyone with her delicious food. Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh? Are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe... Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, okay? Me? But how could she possibly like me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? It's not like she likes me or anything. Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but Sayori talks about you more than an anything else, you know? Eh? You mean she likes me? She's been so much happier ever since you jumped the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? <laughs> no way. Sayori is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine when she's with you. Oh. It's not any different now than it always has been. Hey. <laughs> You're so funny, Cupcake. Have you thought that maybe you've always been you always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you. It's almost like she likes you. Ah, I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I know anyway? Probably a lot if you're a friend. I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her. So try, n <laughs> try not to think about it for now, okay? Uh, all right. Monica smiles meaningfully. Okay, I'm not, I'm not sure how you can smile meaningfully, but she does. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. But she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear here. But she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I wanted to know what she was gonna say. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everybody else. But that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? You probably love her. Whether it's romantic or not, I think you love her. She's your friend and all. Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Hmm. Okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems. And I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica and she smiles at me. She fixed everything. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. Who should I show my poem to first? I wonder. 
Hello. Mm. This is your best one so far. It's really, really nice, Cupcake. Uh, thanks. Mm hmm. Um. Sorry, you've been a little quiet today. Is everything alright? Huh? Of course! Everything is fine. You don't look fine, though. Maybe I'm just a little tired today. Oh, well, that can happen, I guess. <laughs> you, you look worried, though. Like, <laughs> did Monica threaten you, or...? Do, do you want to nap or something? No, that's silly. Do you want to eat? You always want to eat, so how about we buy some snacks? Don't worry about me, okay? I only want to see smiles on your face. Well, okay, but I could say the same to you. 